Ah. Ah. Vamos. Well played, man. Yeah. See you next time. Okay, my champions, I'm gonna take you through how to win more matches, okay? And I really want you guys to stay tuned for the whole video because some of the last tips I'm gonna give you is some of the most important. So please stay tuned, bear with me. Um, I'm gonna go from the beginning before a match all the way to just five minutes before your match, what you should do. Okay, first things first, guys, I'm not gonna waste your time. So if you're not sure how to warm up your body, before you go for your warm-up, uh, around the court, high knees, butt kicks, proper stretching, let me know, but I'm not gonna go through that, okay? I'm gonna go straight into, you've just arrived at the court, and now you're gonna warm up with your warm-up partner, and you're gonna start hitting, okay? This is a very basic, simple warm-up that my, one of my uh, best coaches taught me. If you want his name, let me know, I'll give it to you. Um, and it's, but it, it does wonders. It makes a huge, huge difference, okay? So what you do is, you start with 80 balls in a row from the back. Not in a row, sorry, 80 balls in. If you miss, you keep going until you get 80 in. Okay, then you move on to volleys. 30 volleys in, they have to be in before you move on. Then 10 smashes in, and then 10 serves on each side. Okay, that's gonna help you to hit the ball clean when you step on to the court. Let's start with my 80 balls. Stay tuned because after the hitting, there's more important things I'm gonna teach you. 80 balls. Nice and easy. So I'm only gonna count the ones I get in. One, two, three, four, five. So there's something magical about the 80 balls, guys. So don't think that you can get away with only 30 or only 50 or only 10. You have to get 80 balls in, okay? So obviously I'm not gonna waste your time, but understand that, so now I'm on about 15. I only count the ones that I get in, and I have to keep going all the way until I get 80. Okay, up, up, up. Can do some slices. So I missed one, so I carry on from about 30. If you have your 80 balls from the back, you'll notice that you're gonna start hitting the ball a lot cleaner. It should feel like you're middling the ball, middle of your strings. Then you move on to volleys. Nothing less than 30 volleys in the court. Sounds very basic, but trust me on this, you're gonna win more matches. One. Two. Yeah. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Okay, so you get the picture guys. Please don't stop before you got 30 volleys in the court. Then only you move on. I'm moving on to 10 smashes now. I have to get 10 smashes in before I move on. One. Two. Okay, still on two. Three. Four. You'll start feeling like a natural rhythm forming, confidence growing as you get more and more balls in the court. You see many players, they warm up, but they making one, missing one, making one, and they don't realize that that's breaking their confidence for the match. I'll go one more. Oh, missed it, so I can't count it. Another one. Okay, so that's 10 smashes. Let's move on to the next step. 10 serves in on both sides. Guys, so your serves, 
minimum of 10 serves in the block on both sides when you're getting ready to win more matches. Focusing on a lot of rhythm. Keeping everything smooth and comfortable. All you're doing is you're building confidence for your match. All the way to 10. I want you guys to experience this yourself. It's not a fact of me just hitting balls. Um, the numbers are important. That's why my coach told me this. The numbers are important. So 80 balls from the back in the court. Okay. 30 volleys in the court. 10 smashes in and then 10 serves on each side. Okay. Once you do that, your game will feel solid and your confidence will be nice and high. Okay. Let's move on to what's most important when you're preparing for your match. Okay guys, and then most uh, tournaments where you're playing or most tennis clubs where you're playing a tournament, you'll notice there's, there's space around. If you lift the camera, it just goes over to the, you see there's always space to run. So what you do now is, it's about 15 minutes before your match. You can follow me camera, it's about 15 minutes before your match. You can't walk on the court after not doing much for the last hour okay you need to go for a small little run before your match so what i would do if i was playing a tournament over here you'll see that there's a there's a little path there for for like a little heel and i would just take five minutes and i would run up and down um, to get the blood flowing again before i step on my match i run up and down this heel just to warm up for my match and then uh just to get the blood flowing again Guys, so you've gone through the warm-up on court with your hitting partner. It's feeling clean on the strings. Uh, it's, it was 50 minutes before your match. You went for a run, you're breaking a little bit of sweat again, and you got about five minutes left, okay? And this is the most important part of a pre-match routine to help you win more matches. It's changed everything for me. It's helped me win so many more matches, okay? First thing you have to do is you have to choose about five to 10 sentences of what you want to achieve in this match and you say it like it's already done. Like today, I'm hitting my best four hands yet. Today, I was hitting unbelievable first serves. Today, um, I was handling my opponent's strength so well and I was able to attack his weakness, okay? You choose what you're gonna say, but you say it in a positive way like it's already done, okay? Once you've done that for about two minutes and you've got about three, three to five minutes left before your match, you go find a very peaceful place and you go and sit down. For a couple of minutes follow me okay my opponent's getting ready getting ready to step on my match i'm looking for a quiet place because i'm going to do the most important part of the whole pre-match routine finding some shade here no one can bother me just sit down a little bit strokes the strokes are warmed up everything is warmed up um, i'm saying uh, positive affirmations over my game for today and the last thing you want to do is you want to settle down get very quiet and you want to get pictures in your mind of what it's going to feel like when you go to the net after having won that match what your opponent's face is going to look like when you shake his hand at the net and you've won the match what are your supporters going to do when you look across to them and you've just won this match, what is it going to feel like? What are the sounds around you? What are they telling you? How does it feel winning that match or that tournament? Okay, what are you going to eat tonight um, after winning this match or this tournament? Who are you going to talk to and what are you going to say? What are the things you're going to say to the, the people most important to you after you've won that match?
okay? You get all those pictures in your mind, you settle down and you run it over your mind for about five minutes, right before your match. So let me get into it. I'll see you guys in a bit. Guys, if you've done that, you're gonna start winning more matches and tournaments. I know that, okay? I'll give you a bonus tip. Um, the week before your tournament or match, the amount that you've been serving, you wanna serve about 20% more. The serve is one of the most important shots. If you go into a match with your serve uh, being high confidence and you're feeling good on your serve, you're gonna win more matches. Hope that helps you guys. This is basic, but this is what really helps you to win more matches. Subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.